Welcome back to Houston Life on this National Intern Day. There's our intern Mecca working hard on our floor. Glad to have her with us. Well, few things say summer like a slice of fresh watermelon. It's affordable, widely available, and is a tasty treat on a hot day. Sure is. Here with some easy beverage ideas to make the most out of this refreshing fruit. Our friend Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV with a lovely spread. How are you, friend? Watermelon. I'm fantastic. Loving the hot, humid weather. How about oh. you guys? Oh, well, you know what? All we need is a watermelon to get through it. Hey, and I've got it for you. Watermelon is so refreshing because there's so much literally water in yeah. it. So it's a good hydrator, right? Potassium. So it's a good thing to do. The key to doing what we're going to show you here is slicing a watermelon. That can be a little challenging. Yeah, sure. I feel like I'm going to cut myself. I use a sharp knife, okay. but I, I like a heavy knife so you've got better control of it. Oh, you cut the end off first. Cut the first. Oh, yeah. it. Brilliant. Yes. Where has this video been my whole life? Uh, well, you can look at it anytime. It's on our Instagram <laughs> at Good Taste TV or on our website. So either way. But that's the best way to do it. Cut off the ends, get rid of that rind. Okay, I'm, like I'm going off script here for just for a second. Right. How do you pick the best watermelon? I see people knocking, I people <laughs> shake. What do you do? I, my grandmother always would pick up melons and thump them. And if you hear a hollow thump, like a loud hollow thump, supposedly that's a good one. Okay. Well, I would love to know if you guys have a foolproof method. Let us because know. That's all. That's what We're I do. Pretty lucky in Texas, though. Because I've they never are had good. a bad watermelon yeah. down here. and they're they're nice right now. So these Very of course sweet. are our friends and at over H -E in Luling, they have the watermelon festival annually. They do. That's right. Yeah. Oh, you can. They have watermelon tosses. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So of we're thirsty. thirsty. What are we starting with? Prosecco. Use your cubed watermelon and your pitcher. It's very festive. It looks great. Fresh mint and prima mazzo. This was a dry prosecco, so it's not going to be a sugar fest. If you like things really sweet use a sweet one mm. the watermelon lovely fragrance mm -hmm. too is very strong it's nice isn't it? it's just refreshing so next Beautiful. we're going to do a watermelon smoothie this is a great way to do breakfast and when you open a watermelon I don't know about you guys I always have it left over right oh for There's sure it, so yeah. you can throw it on a, a baking sheet freeze it keep it in Ziploc bags and it's great to pull out and make things. So what we're going to do for the smoothie this is very healthy we use unflavored yogurt unsweetened so Just like a plain, a plain yogurt, okay. You could probably get away with vanilla. I don't think that would be a problem at all. Okay. So we're gonna do vanilla, fresh mint. And you use some. spearmint or peppermint? Uh, probably I use a spearmint. A spearmint. Okay. But you can use either. You can use either. Okay. Honey, a little lemon juice. Okay. A little pinch of salt. The milk, if you need it for creaminess, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. But anyway, you get the idea. You blend it all together, and voila. You've got the watermelon smoothie. Wow. That's it's really nice, good. That's right? really good. It's, it's pretty very good. Too. Yeah. And you can add to it. Add, you know, if you want to add flaxseed to it, whatever you like. That's in your really smoothies. yummy. Yeah. It's very light, too. Very, like yogurt very parfait refreshing. Almost. Now, we're going for healthy and light here. Now we're moving on to a little more serious. Mm. Okay. A little gin tossed oh. into the front. A boozy watermelon. A boozy watermelon. So this one's really easy, too. Pure watermelon, again, it has its own natural uh, liquid. I'm gonna pour in, how much gin do y'all think? I mean, you're cooking. That Watch gin out. is so delicious. <laughs> this that gin is, a really good is amazing. One. The blue whale comes from California, just locally sourced botanicals, I love it. And we then, know about that honey. gin from you, Tangie. Oh, it's did there? you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I we, love it. That's and why we started drinking it. I am not a gin fan. And once I tried that, I am now a gin fan. Yeah, I get it. Changer. Right. You know, I had just never had good gin. Blue Whale's fantastic. Okay, so this, super easy. So this is almost like a slushy. It is, uh, for adults, but you can do right. it. It's, the presentation is so fun. You could absolutely do this. Oh, um, clever. Whoops. Wow, that is one large cocktail, Tangie. With one small <laughs> spoon. I mean, a straw. A straw. <laughs> well, maybe it's meant for two people. <laughs> I was thinking about that is a tiny spoon. <laughs> oh wait, it's a straw. I was thinking about a spoon from earlier. Dude, we were this talking. This is so romantic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. I got a little bit of that. Oh, that's dangerous because mm -hmm. it's hard to even taste the a gin. A little Jenny. Oh, you can taste oh, the gin. Oh, okay. I, I thought mean, maybe I, I'd I can, overdone it. No, I can barely taste the gin. But it's it, very it's good. It's an easy drinker. Mm. Get oh, in God. there, and your straw matches your outfit. Oh, thank you. I think you. you should hold it. Thank you. It's I'll gorgeous. <laughs> This is so clever, Tanji. It's Thank fun. So it, it, again, it makes for a beautiful summer table. You know, outside, everybody's hot. 
Watermelon kind of puts you in a better mood. You always and your, have great ideas. Your tablescape is beautiful as well. Oh, cool lens gum. I, I don't, I am not a designer, clearly. Cool Lens Gum puts these together and they do a fantastic job. They well, cheers great. to you, Tangi. This was cheers. lovely. Thanks for teaching us how to cut a watermelon and to use it as well. My pleasure. You can get all the info at goodtaste.tv. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. And also, for our viewers who watch your show on the weekend, a brand new season is coming up this fall. Yes, we are right in the middle of production. So we start the middle of October and you guys carry us Saturday and Sunday mornings. So okay, lots perfect. of good, delicious fun Set and your wine. DVRs. And as Tangi mentioned we do have links to her recipes on her website as well as our website houstonlife.tv don't forget as we also just mentioned good taste tv airs saturday and sunday at 5 30 a.m right here on kprc2 all right shifting Thanks, gears cheers. now cheers